Slide the battery into the bay until it snaps into place. Slide the manual latch to the locked position as shown. Place the access cover in position and slide it until it snaps into place. Secure the panel with the two retaining screws. Insert the memory module into the slot using the notch for direction. Press it down until it clicks into place. Repeat for the second module. Place the bracket onto the hard disk drive and secure it with four screws, two per side. Position the hard drive into the compartment and push until it is engaged into place. Secure the drive with two screws. Slide the drive into the bay. Secure it with the single retaining screw. Insert the wireless LAN card into its slot using the notch for direction. Reinstall the single retaining screw. Reconnect the two antenna cables. Place the keyboard onto the keyboard bezel. Connect the two cables. Slide the keyboard in position. Turn the system over. Reinstall the two retaining screws. Place the top cover back in position and snap it into place. Reconnect the touchpad and button board connectors. Turn the system over. Replace the 16 retaining screws in the marked positions. Place the power button board upside down. Reconnect the function button's board cable so that the cable is flat when the board is turned over. Turn the board over and secure it with the two retaining screws. Place the board in positions using the screw holes for alignment. Replace the two retaining screws. Slide the USB board in position as shown. Replace the single retaining screw. Reconnect the flat cable. Lower the system board 90 degrees up.
Reconnect the power connector and the USB port connector. Lower the system board and slide it in position. Replace the single retaining screw. Reconnect the speaker's cable. Turn the system over. Reconnect the LVDS cable. Place the heat sink back in position using the screw holes for alignment. Replace the four screws following the order embossed on the heat sink. Reconnect the fan cable. Place the CPU in position using the triangle at the corner for direction. Turn the locking screw 180 degrees clockwise to secure the CPU to the socket. Place the power connector back in its slot on the chassis. Place the speakers in position onto the chassis. Replace the four screws in the marked areas. Place the display assembly in position using the hinge slot for alignment. Replace the four screws in the marked areas. Route the antenna cables in the guides. Put the bezel back in position and snap it into place. Replace the two retaining screws and attach the two rubber caps. Reconnect the cable connector. Put the camera board back in position and press to attach it. Connect the LCD signal cable and attach the tape. Rotate the LCD panel back in position. Replace the four retaining screws.